Hey, not sure if this is the best way to get a hold of Courtney, but if so, I appreciate your time reading this and hopefully getting some feedback. I've followed and watched most of your YouTube videos and you're really one of the reasons I want to get serious about selling tractor attachments. Uh oh, this might be backfiring. I'm, I'm inspiring competition. I lived in North Carolina. I bought and sold used attachments for a while on Marketplace. In some occasions, I buy them broken, fix them and sell them. I really enjoy doing it and it brings in some extra cash. I have a full-time job that I also love and it pays well too. This is where I need your feedback or at least what you think. I want to get into buying and selling used and new attachments as a real business. I guess I should just get an LLC. How do I go about selling new? How do I even make money selling new? I see attachments and it looks like it would be cheaper to just buy them off of Marketplace. Nope, sorry, sorry. I see attachments and it looks like it would be cheaper to just buy them off the manufacturer. Yes, that's, that's pretty straightforward there. I feel like I need a lot of money just to even place an order to have some attachments in stock. If that's how it works, is there a minimum number of attachments that I have to buy? Do I have to be a, a dealer? I really don't know how it works. I visited and talked to the owners of two local farm equipment stores. I talked to them and both roughly said not to get into the business jokingly, I think. They were nice guys, but a little disappointed on what they told me. I'm hoping they were just too busy to talk to me for that long. I have a local company that sells attachments. I can start with them. I don't mind the work. It's just, I don't know where to start. You don't really have to answer every single question above. I just don't know what the right question is to ask. I appreciate you taking time to read this. Thank you. Okay, so a lot going on here and I, I'm joking about helping the competition. I mean, I, I'm confident enough in my abilities to know that I, I've got my own market and that there's a ton of tractor attachment dealers out there that really only sell locally. And there's some, you know, I have some online competition too. I'm, I'm not, I'm well, fully aware of that. And that's the way of the world. And it does complicate things quite a bit more if you're going to go online and, and sell nationwide. But in general, how I started out selling was finding attachments that I wanted to sell, right? So let's just take pallet forks, for example. And those are one of the most popular tractor attachments that are out there and there's probably 100 or 150 manufacturers that make those and they're all going to be at different price points you know different weight ratings configurations and um, areas of uh, uh, the countries of origin where, you, where they're manufactured and, and yada 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 so the other issue is that you're going to have some manufacturers that will sell directly a lot of manufacturers that uh, will sell through distributors that maybe like a distributor covers Michigan, where I'm at, for example, then a different distributor covers Indiana, you know, and so maybe you have to go through that layer. Um, some manufacturers just sell directly, and so you, you can't uh, even work with them. And so it's, uh, take that times every single attachment you want to sell, and you have to go through that process and then see what's going to work for you, what kind of relationships you can get, what kind of minimum buys you have to buy, everyone's going to be different. There's not going to be a, a standard answer for every brand that you're working with. We actually manufacture some attachments and sell uh, to dealers as well. And so we'll do bundle buys with minimum quantities. And since we ship nationwide, you know, normally when we have the stuff shipped into us from our fabricator that uh, manufactures for us, it's, you know, on a pallet that contains a set quantity of whatever that item is. So that's how we do our our sales with dealers is that they need to buy based on the pallet quantity because it's, it just comes in like that. It's set like that. It's easy to ship out. It's already prepackaged. And then we give a bundle discount based on that to, to send out to dealers. And so you're going to find, I don't think most manufacturers work it that way. They're just going to tack on freight based on whatever it is you order at the end of the year. Like say now, a lot of manufacturers will give you an incentive, an extra incentive to place an order for next spring, but there's no the only way that you can find this stuff out is doing it. So you need to reach out and call, and this applies to any industry. This isn't just tractor stuff. If you wanna sell computer parts or anything else, it's, it's the same kind of a concept where you're gonna find that there's no standard way that every single manufacturer in your segment is operating with a, a set of, the same set of rules. They all have different rules. They all have different price points. And I will say that the closer you can get to the manufacturer and get out of the distributors, typically the better pricing you're gonna have. Um, sometimes the manufacturers are aware of that and will just make their price a bit higher and 
keep some more profit for themselves, which more power to them. But otherwise, if you have to go from a manufacturer to a distributor and then to you, for example, well, that's more people that need to make money on top of it. Keep in mind, you then have to mark it up to sell to a, an end user as well. And, and that's going to work against you. The cheaper the price point, maybe not the cheaper or lower quality product, but just the lower the price point in general, the more likely you are to sell that product too. So that just comes with putting the time in, talking to people, you know, and comes with the weeks, the months, the years that go by on understanding how that game is played. So let's, let's move on to the next point or next question that he had. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. He asked if you should get an LLC and yeah, I, mean, I would contact your accountant and, and maybe an attorney uh, to do it the right way or just go to LegalZoom or at least something on there and get set up. You wanna have protection for your business to separate that from your, your personal accounts and everything else. So keep that separation there, get set up for taxes and, and everything else separately and take advantage of um, those policies when you can. Feel like you need a lot of money to even place in order to have some attachments in stock? Well, yes and no, uh, it does really, it does take money to make money, in my opinion, uh, at least a significant amount. But once you become credit worthy with a lot of different, well, within your industry, you're going to find that you can get credit terms. It's not going to be a cash basis where if you place an order, you have to pay for it right then before it's delivered. But you can get maybe uh, 30, 60, 90 day, 180 day terms, depending on what it is. And you could potentially, if you know what you're doing, have all of your inventory sold and have that cash come in by the time that you have to make the payment in 180 days or 90 days, whatever it is. So you potentially could use no cash of your own at a certain point, but that is going to be tough to do up front without any kind of credit worthiness in the industry. And then finally, he doesn't know where to start. And that is a good place to start is asking the questions. You can't be afraid. Well, I think a lot of folks would be afraid to go into a, a tractor dealership like he did with a couple of places and ask them how to do this because you're asking your competition how I can compete against you. And I don't blame those dealers for not giving him a lot of information. And I also told uh, this gentleman, I'm not going to give you all of the secrets, right? It's, you know, I, again, it comes back to don't be afraid to ask the question, but expect to be told no. And when you're not told no, then great. Take advantage of that opportunity and glean what you can from it. But that's the only way you're going to grow is putting yourself out there and taking risk like we've talked about before. And this risk really isn't, I mean, maybe it affects some of your ego and that's about it, right? It's, it's, it's costing you a little bit of time, but you're going to learn something from it either way. I mean, every interaction you have, you're going to learn something from it. And that doesn't mean you're learning something from a dealer that tells you, go away, I'm not going to help you out at all. But maybe then you know how to approach the situation differently the next time around too. And so you can get better from that, you can improve from that, and you're gonna find that you become more efficient with your own time the more often that you do it. So hopefully that helps some other folks out there that are thinking the same things that this guy took the time to email me about and I appreciate him doing so and I applaud him for doing so. And for you guys out there as well, keep on churning. You know, again, it doesn't have to be tractor stuff, it could be any market segment that you're into. The same concepts apply and you can't beat hard work. Now, if you are in the market for a tractor or tractor attachments, we would love to help you out. You can check out goodworkstractors.com. We do sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.